Okay, um, so I don't know if my introduction video for this week looks crazy with a crazy background. There is a newer edition of Camtasia, which is a screen, uh, the screen capture software that I use, uh, that for some reason is just, I, 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 I don't know. I, I feel like uh, a cranky old man yelling at the clouds sometimes, but I don't like it when there's something that is working well, and I know exactly how to use it, how to do everything, then they update it, and it automatically adds all of these features that I don't want, and it takes me a while to figure out how to turn them off. I can't stand when that happens. So I think there's a crazy background that I didn't want. I don't know. I prefer my, you know, agreeable white background and all of these things here as opposed to some crazy psychedelic background okay enough of that what we're starting with uh, today or this week as I mentioned in the intro video I kind of want things to be um, easier this week so it's just gonna be a very uh, chill week as uh, the kids say notice there's this use package AMS math uh, if you want to use the Align environment and a lot of other AMS stuff or a lot of other common stuff, you use this package. I can't remember if I explained it in the previous videos or not. Uh, AMS, the American Mathematical Society, has this great package with, with, with a bunch of different things that you can do. Um, okay, so I want to... Okay, you read a math paper. What do you see in math papers? You see theorems. So if I want a theorem, uh, one very bad way to put a theorem would be to do something like this. Text, boldface... Theorem one, and then say uh, if f is differentiable uh, at a point, it is continuous there. Okay, so I'm going to save this. Um, whoops. All right, I'm going to save this. So I'm pressing control save to save. I don't know if there's a save button up here. Anyways, okay. Uh, and now, of course, if I want to prove it, I could do something like this. Text, boldface, proof. Um, assume F is, whoops, is di differentiable at the point X naught. Okay, so by the way, instead of, instead of using the uh, dollar signs, you can do something like this as well. Okay. All right. Now, uh, this this is not good. Uh, why is it not good? Well, one, I'm going to have to keep track of the numbering myself, right? Uh, for the theorems here. If I do theorem one, uh, but what if I want to have a theorem up here? Like, what if what I want to have, what if I want to have a theorem up here? And now this is going to be theorem two. Okay. So there's that numbering thing that's bad. But really, this is just a... Um, a symptom of a larger problem. Remember, when we're doing, when we're using LaTeX, we want LaTeX to handle all of the tedious things about formatting, about making sure that you know that all the theorems are formatted the same way, that all the theorems are numbered the same way. All of this stuff we want LaTeX, we want LaTeX to take care of. We don't want to deal with that. So again, this is where the idea of environments come in. And so here is a is a. Uh, document from Over Overleaf. By the way, uh, creating a document in Overleaf. So th this whole thing here, uh, the overleaf.com slash learn slash how to, I think, learn LaTeX in 30 minutes. This is a great resource if you just want to go through LaTeX. Again, as you know, as I've said, the best way to learn uh, LaTeX is to just do LaTeX. So you can create a, a theorem environment. So there's a theorem, there's a, there's a command called new theorem, and we're going to use that command to create a new theorem environment. So here's what we're going to do. So I'm going to come up here, um, new theorem. See, it even auto-completes here. Um, now, what I'm going to put in the first argument is what I'm is the command that I'm going to use. So theorem, and what I put here is what's going to be displayed. So now I'm going to come down here and do begin theorem. And when I press in, or when I press enter, it'll give that. I'm going to do control copy. Get rid of this stuff for now. Okay. Now when I when I save this, it's gonna okay. So theorem one, if f is differentiable at a point, it's continuous there. Um, okay. So now a question is, well, what happens uh, if what 
what if I have some bizarre thing where instead of having theorem be, you know, a capital T and then the rest lowercase, I want to do something bizarre and I want them all to have capital, all capitals, not something we should probably do. Uh, if I recompile it, there's a button. It'll look like that, right? So now if I have two different theorems, I can have something like this. And since I mess it up a little bit, it's punishing me by not doing the autocomplete. So there exists a continuous function that is not differ. Ah, oh my gosh. Diff I can't spell. This is awful. It's not differentiable. If I wasn't trying to say it out loud, maybe I could get it. That is not differentiable at any point. Okay, so now if I do something like this, I've got two theorems. Okay, I'm going to go back to something a little more reasonable. Okay, but now the idea is, let's say, you know what? I actually don't want to have it here. I want to have it here. Now I'm not going to have to go through and renumber every single theorem. Uh, that, that is, I'm not going to have to number every single theorem that comes after it. Okay, um, I'm going to show you some more things about theorems and other environments. Um, what I want to do, what I want to do next though, is show you how we can refer back to theorems. So if I want to say down here, uh, according to theorem, okay, so let's say I want to refer to this theorem. I could say according to theorem one, something is true, ba -ba, da da da. I could say according to theorem one, something is true. Okay, but now what if I change these back? What if I go back to something like this? Uh, now I'm going to have to go back to this theorem one and I'm going to have to change this to two because now I'm referring to this. Okay, so obviously, again, that is not something that we want to do. That is something that a computer should be able to do. It's something that LaTeX should be able to do. And so that's, we're going to use LaTeX. So I'm going to do label. Okay, whatever I put in this label here is what I'm going to use to address uh, this theorem. So I'm going to, I like to use this convention. If it's a theorem, I like to put a capital T and a colon, and then maybe something about the theorem. So, uh, diff continuous, diff continuous theorem. Okay. So now I'm going to say up here, according to theorem. Okay. And I'm going to do ref, uh, T it's already giving me the autocomplete. So if I just press enter, I get that. And so now if I run it, look at what's going to happen here. According to theorem one, because that's, I'm, I'm referring to this and that is the theorem one up here. So that works. But now let's see what happens if I change these around. Um, theorem two. Now I want this to recur, uh, refer to theorem two now because I, I changed them around and it changed this two here automatically. Um, if you're doing this on share LaTeX, everything should typically work out whenever you put, put click recompile. Uh, sometimes if you're using software that's not LaTeX, you might have to compile it twice. Like the first compilation, it's going to switch the orders of the theorems, but it might still leave that as one. And then the next compilation, it'll go back and change that back to one. It just depends on exactly how the software works. Um, okay. So that's all I want to mention, uh, for this video in the, in the upcoming videos, I will show you some other things about theorems, but it's just going to be stuff right here and kind of the ways that I use different things. Um, Okay, that's it.